Can the horrors of the world just take a time out for two minutes? I want to go outside eventually. It seems like every time we get closer to a ray of hope, just another terrible event casts its shadow over us. Right after we get word that some countries are flattening the curve, that we should be able to go up for summer, the murder hornets show up, and they mean business. Welcome to Life's Biggest Questions. I'm your host, Chay Arena, and I bet some of you watching this video are up to date about the murder hornets, but if you are not, let me fill you in a little. They are actually called giant Asian hornets, and they have a sting that is considered one of the most painful in the world. They have never been in North America before, but now they are here, and I think they want to kill us. Well, maybe they do, maybe they don't. To help you decide on which you should be more afraid of, we're making today's list of top 10 reasons why murder hornets are scarier than the virus. As always, guys, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell, and stick around until the end of the video because I will be giving you the answer to this riddle. What word in the English language has three Three consecutive double letters and without taking any longer let's get into this list at number 10, we have how they look. Right off the bat, let's start with an obvious one. The coronavirus is invisible. Well, it's not invisible. There's a way to view it. I mean, that's why it got its name, because it looks like a little crown. How could something so cute be so deadly? But we cannot see it with the naked eye, where the murder hornets, on the other hand, you can see no problemo. They are two inches long, and they have pincers on the front of their faces that can slice an insect in half. They have a massive wingspan, and their stinger will make you scream like you're in an opera. There is almost zero chance you're going to miss one of these things if they are flying around you. The Japanese name for these bugs translates to Little Sparrow because they are so big they look like they are a bird flying through the air. At number 9 we have the Stinger, a retractable stinger that can get you again and again and again. That's right, just one of these bad boys can sting you so much you will wish that you were dead, even though it only takes one to wish for that. This is because they don't sting you like a bee and the stinger doesn't rip off and then the hornet quickly dies as you're lying on the ground screaming in pain. No, you have to get away from this bad boy as fast as you can or he will keep stinging you you and the stinger is no joke. It has a neurotoxin in it. That means it attacks your nervous system. I already have enough problems, man. I don't need this thing coming and making it even harder for my brain to tell me what to do. I mean, it doesn't even tell me what to do most of the time. At number eight, we have how they kill you. Just to be clear, getting killed by murder hornets is very rare. The coronavirus is a much bigger risk to your life than these flying creatures will be. They just seem scarier and we have given them a scary name and they look like they were pulled out of a comic book movie. But that being said, they have killed people. You don't get the nickname murder hornets without a few teardrop tattoos. On average, 50 people a year die from murder hornets. This is usually when people stumble upon a nest and then get swarmed. That would mean getting stung by one of the most painful stings in the world. Apparently, it feels like hot metal going under your skin, and then it would be happening over and over again. The majority of people who get swarmed don't actually die from the sting, but they will die from an allergic reaction to the sting. So on top of feeling one of the most painful things you have ever Ever felt you will not be able to breathe. That sounds like one of the most frightening deaths of all time. At number seven, we have the threat to honeybees. Man, over the past few years, the bees have not been having an easy go. We've really been trying to keep them alive in some places, but they keep dying off, and, uh, and it's actually a lot of it is our fault. And if we lose the bees, this would be terrible for the whole world. Bees pollinate a ton of plant life and make sure that we have some nice fruit to eat every year. Without them, we would have to pollinate everything ourselves, which would take a ton of manpower, and in the end, it would cost millions, maybe billions of dollars every year. Now, the the reason the giant Asian hornet is a threat to honeybees is because they love to eat them. The giant hornets will fly into a nest and just start ripping them apart. They cut them in half with the giant mandibles on the front of their face and then they carry the dead bodies back to their hive to feed them to their kids. Yeah, no thank you. That sounds like one of the worst fates of all time. Now Japanese honeybees have found a way to fight back against these massive invaders. They swarm the bee covering it like a dog pile and then they start to vibrate their wings. This then creates an intense heat at the center of this mound of of bees and they will literally cook the hornet alive. This is scary for the North American bees because they have not developed the same ability to protect themselves from these murder hornets. So the murder hornets just come in and kill everything. Just 30 giant Asian hornets can take out a colony of 10,000 bees. Just another thing the bees have to be worried about. At number six, we have you need a special suit. Now every beekeeper is going to have to upgrade what they're wearing. It's time to bust out the chain mail and get a sword that has been blessed by God because the scourge of the earth is coming to tear down your colonies. Well, that's a little bit dramatic, but it's kind of true. If you have just a regular beekeeper suit, you are out of luck because these giant Asian hornets can rip right through those things. Actually, one of the first people to report them in North America was a beekeeper who was trying to protect his colony. He then got stung right through his suit. This is 
is because the stinger is so long it can go through the fabric and right into your body. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some blast shielding on my windows just to be safe. At number five, we have they could ruin our summer. Now it depends where you are in the world, but for me it seems like we're gonna be over the coronavirus thing right in time for it to be nice outside and everyone is gonna be able to enjoy the beach weather and have a great time. But if the murder hornets move in down the street, then all of my summer plans are ruined because nowhere on my to-do list of summer fun does it say scream while writhing on the ground in pain. Summer is a big deal for me and a lot of people. A lot of people live in places where it's cold most of the year and then you get a rush of nice weather and then it's back to being inside for six to eight months. You can't take my sweet, sweet summer away from me. I'll sunbathe in a bomb suit if I have to. At number four, we have public panic. Probably the biggest problem with the giant Asian hornets moving into the west coast of Canada and Washington state is the way the media has been able to run with it. I mean, we need news to tell us stuff, but sometimes they really do stink at it. It just seems that they go out of their way to create public panic, and that's exactly what they did with the coronavirus, as you saw everyone running out to buy toilet paper like it was gonna stop them from getting sick, and now we see them making the hornet problem into headlining news when they're really probably gonna be gone in a few months, if not a few weeks and we can stop thinking about them, but the world is already in a stressful place. We don't need another thing that the news can run with to make all our lives more hectic. At number three, we have motivated hornet hunters. Anytime there's a problem with anything, some people will think it's their civic duty to try and fix that problem. They will go out of their way to try and be the hero that nobody asked for and nobody needed. And that's what might happen with the murder hornets. We'll have some dude who made a homemade murder hornet suit go out and walk through the woods and then he'll find out where these things were spotted and then he'll try to take them out all on his own. That person might die and then the story of terror around these things will get hyped and people will start freaking out at an even higher level. At number two, we have what they eat. I don't know a lot about bugs, but this description is terrifying. So the reason the giant Asian hornets are such a threat to the bee populations is because they want to get their larva. The bee larva is the perfect snack for their own babies. So what they do is they break in, they slaughter all the adults, and then they go into the larva hive, they kill the queen, and then they start mashing up the larva babies into a paste. Then bring the homemade larva baby goo back to their own babies to eat. This sounds like some sort Sort of demonic torture. Now the reason that the adults do this isn't just to feed their own young, but it's also to feed themselves. As the hornet larvae eat, they start to secrete the saliva that is packed with energy that the adults suck back like it's a cold beer on a hot day. That whole process sounds insane. And for the number one spot, we have the rare animal trade. You know, two months ago, I would have thought that this point would have been a stretch. Who would want to keep dangerous animals or insects in their home? But now I have seen Tiger King. I know that there are thousands of people that would love to dedicate their lives to this. Now this is freaky for a lot of reasons. Mainly I don't want to go over to someone's house and find out that they have secretly been keeping a collection. No, that doesn't sound like a fun time at all. But on top of that, this could actually cause them to spread. Right now the problem is very contained and should be gone before we know it. But if some weirdo goes in there and then starts bottling them up to sell on the black market, then we might have them all over North America before you know it. All right, everyone, that is all we have for you for today's Life's Biggest Questions. I hope you found this episode interesting, and even though these bugs seem scary, and they really are, you shouldn't be that afraid of them invading North America. They spread very slowly, and designated people have been destroying the nests on site. There should be no outbreak of murder hornets anywhere in North America or Canada. If you guys have anything you would like to share about this video, please leave something in the comments below and I would always love it if you guys could subscribe hit the little notification bell and like this video oh right and before I go I need to give you the answer to this riddle what word in the English language has three consecutive double letters the answer is bookkeeper so did you guys get it right remember to write your answer in the comments until next time I've been your host Che Arena and I'm here to answer all your questions it's a scary, scary world out there. There are plenty of reasons to make that assessment too. Lions, tigers, bears, oh my. But to top the list off, we definitely have to take a look at some of the craziest insects planet Earth has to offer. The appearance of some murder hornets, also known as Asian giant hornets in North America has caused a significant amount of buzz. People who were living in blissful ignorance of the painful and petrifying six-legged creatures are now looking for more. So who would I be to deny them more scary bugs and maybe some spiders?